I want to show you an online software that can make your life more organized, both for personal stuff, business stuff, project stuff, all kinds of things. I'm going to show you a little bit about how it works, and then I'm going to go into a couple uh, brief case studies so you can kind of envision different ways that you can make this thing work for you. Um, so the software is called Trello. You can sign up for it at Trello.com. It is a free software. Um, you can pay to have some advanced features that aren't necessarily needed, but uh, the free service gives you pretty much everything that you need. So you can sign up, just takes an email address to sign up. When you get signed up and you verify your email address, you'll end up in a place like this. Um, this is your dashboard, and it shows you all of the boards that you've created. Now, Trello is set up according to a project management theory called CANBAM, C-A-N-B-A-M. If you want to look that up, you can read more about it. Um, it was invented by some engineers working for Toyota a long time ago. It's, it's helped make them so efficient, and it can help make you efficient too. So Trello helps you use the CANBAM philosophy to apply it to uh, your life in many ways. When you get set up, <clears throat> there's a board in here that says Welcome Board. You can click into it, and it has basically um, all of this stuff in here. I would suggest go through and, and click on each of these things to read it. This is basically your walkthrough. So start with the basics, then go through the intermediate, then go through the advanced. It'll show you pretty much all the stuff that you can do or all the technical things that you can do with it. Um, and between that and the uh, case studies I'm going to show you guys in additional videos, I think that you'll, you'll see how this could apply to your life and make it a lot simpler. Um, but to keep it simple, basically what you can do is you can create a board for anything. I'm going to create a board and call it my to-dos, right? And inside your board, this is called a board when you click into it, you have lists. This is the start of a list. So I'm going to create a list called to-dos. I'm going to create a list called doing and a list called done. All right, so once you have these three lists created, these are basically your categories of things that you want to work on. So you can say, pick up the dog. Um, buy groceries, work on work project, call your mother, etc. Okay, so these are all the things that I want to do this week. And as you go through the week, you can just add stuff to these. Everything that you add within a list is called a card. So each of these items is called a card. This parent item that these cards are contained with is called a list. And then the overall thing that contains all these lists, again, is called your board. Now, when you have something, uh, when you have a card created, like say, buy groceries, for example, you can click into that card and it shows you what people refer to as the back of that card where you can put additional detail. Um, and so you can put like, you can use it as an activity log. Um, so you can say, um, you know, went to grocery store, but they were closed. You know, if you wanted to keep notes and look back on, on how a particular card is going, then you can see that this has one note posted to it. Um, something else that you can do that's super, super useful is you can create a checklist. Um, so we're going to call this checklist groceries. And on this checklist, we're going to say we need celery, we need potatoes. Is that how you spell potatoes? There you go. And noodles, all right? So we have three things on our grocery list. When we, when we see the card here, you'll see that you have three items, zero of three have been completed. Now, you can access Trello from any device. So there's apps for your iPhones, there's apps for your Droid phones. If you're on a Blackberry, what's wrong with you? Um, <laughs> there's apps for your tablets, and they all work great on every one. Now the idea here is when you're buying your groceries, so you go to the grocery store, you can call this up on your phone, and you can check these things off as you go. So I picked up potatoes, I picked up noodles, but celery was too expensive, so I didn't get it. So I'm gonna leave that on my list, and you can see that I still have groceries that I need to buy. Maybe I pick those up when I go to the next store. Now if I completed my list, then it's gonna say, you know, everything's complete, three out of three. And what I can do at that point, well, I should have moved it over here to doing while I was doing it, theoretically. Um, but when I'm all done, I'm going to move that to the done column, and then this shows you, uh, you know, a look back at all the things that you've completed. So as you work on this stuff throughout the day, or throughout your week, or throughout your month, or however you want to organize this, you want basically everything to move over to the done column. The reason for the doing column would be as if you, you know, start a project. So maybe, you know, you have a project called clean up the yard, right? 
and that's going to entail <coughs> mowing, weed eating, grass seeding, you know, and whatever else people do in their yard. <laughs> I'm not a yard guy. So maybe we do one of these things. So we mow it. We're going to come back to weed eating here tomorrow. So we're just going to put this in the doing column to signify to us that it's a project that started. It's something we need to finish up. And, um, and um, yeah, it's still in the doing status. So everything basically is going to move from left to right into the done column. When, you're, when you are done with all these, then you can archive them. Uh, just click archive and um, they'll go away. But I like to kind of leave them there. I'd like to see a nice long list of things that I've done. So, you know, the way that this helps you, number one, I find throughout the week, I'm always thinking of things that I need to do um, whenever I don't have time to do them. Um, I'm sure everyone's the same way. I'm sure that I'm not the oddball out here. But, you know, as you think of these things, pull up your phone, pull up your tablet, pull up your computer, or keep Trello up in a window like I do when I'm at work, and just start writing these things down. So, you know, th when, you, when you come time to do something on the weekend, this is going to make you really effective because, like on a Saturday, what I do is I wake up on a Saturday, and what I used to do before Trello is I'd start thinking, man, what were all those things I thought I really needed to do this weekend? And I'll try and make a list. And by the time Sunday evening comes around, you know, I got some stuff done, but then I look back and go, oh man, that thing I really wanted to do, I totally forgot about. And now I didn't get it done. And, you know, I kind of, I'm a little bit pissed at myself because I forgot about it. Well, with Trello, I no longer forget about things. And I no longer have to waste time thinking about what I want to do. I just look at my Trello board. I see 20 things here and it's just a matter of which do I want to put on the list? Boom, boom, put a couple on the list for my today items. And, um, you know, that's what I'm going to be working on. Another way to look at this is instead of doing, I'm going to just archive this list, which deletes it. I'm going to say to do today. And I'm going to create a to do this week. All right. I'm going to just organize these a little bit. And you can always drag things wherever you want. So it's really cool, really easy. You can drag them on your. Um, on your mobile phone or your tablet as well um, because you don't have a mouse to drag things with what you need to do on your tablet or mobile phone is you push and hold on an item and then it'll let you drag it so you your push and hold is how you select to grab a list or an item or whatever you need to drag so you know what I'll do is I'll say okay today I'm gonna work on my project but this week I'm gonna I'm gonna buy my groceries so I may have I, I actually literally have over 50 things in my to-do column because I'm I'm just ambitious and you know so what I'll do is you know all these things are are in the hopper they're all gonna get done at some point but I'm gonna prioritize them by putting things that I'm gonna do this week in the this week column and then every day when I you know I pick out you know two or three or four things I'm gonna get done today no matter what I slide those over in the today column now if you don't finish all of the stuff in your today column or your this week column great great news is it's still gonna be in your today column tomorrow so basically, by putting it in your today column, you're saying this is my highest priority thing. This is the thing that I want to get done like as soon as possible. And tomorrow, it's still going to be in that same status. So I'm going to show you guys some, you know, some brief case studies to show you kind of some some different ways to use this. It's a super super simple software, but I think that when you see it in a couple different scenarios, you really start to grasp the types of things that you can really make this thing do. One other thing to know is on your overview or your dashboard, which you can get to just by clicking the Trello button, you'll see all of your boards that are created here. You can also create new organizations. So say you create an organization called My Work, right? And within that work, you can create an, an organization called, or I'm sorry, a board called Project Management, all right? And when I go back here, you'll see that I have my personal stuff, I have my work stuff. You can also favorite boards to kind of uh, organize this a little bit but this is really important because what you can do is okay so say say this is your work and you have a project management board one thing that you can do is you can come over here um, oh I'm sorry right here and say add new members and I'm gonna add Susan at mywork.com or you know whoever it is now what that's gonna do is it's gonna invite Susan into your board and now she can take 
she can take part in, in using this management software to, uh, with you. So this becomes something outside of your own personal thing, but something that you can apply you know, to your whole organization or to people within your team. You can also apply it to things like organizations that you're involved with, like maybe a nonprofit that you're involved with that, that you know needs to get their act together. And you can use this to help them plan things out. Okay, so I'm gonna stop here and go into some uh, case studies so you guys can see it. I recommend you look at all of them, even if uh, one of them doesn't sound like exactly what you're looking for. I think that I'm gonna, I think that they'll show you different ways that the flexibility happens in Trello and, and how this can apply to your life. You'll start getting some ideas.